trying to drive my list myself. But that's what I would call S A R U M. Symbolism of the three steps. The, oh, the veil, of course, the veil of the abyss, the three steps being um, uh, the separation between the manifested universe and the unmanifested universe. They can, they can be taken as, as a, when you have something like three steps, it's difficult to say exactly what it means because there's so many different things that the number three represents. Okay? And this could be really any of those. You know? we, we could go into depth on, any, on a lot of them. Uh, it's, it's pretty standard symbolism for both uh, ecclesiastical traditions and Masonic tradition to have three steps. And they're interpreted in many different ways in both systems. You know, I, I like to think of it as, you know, we have uh, the three penal signs, the three steps down there, and we have that basically repeated again up here. Three steps down there, three steps up here, after a different manner. <coughs> do, do you want to add anything on the three steps? No. The black and white squares can be any size, like these, but only in the black and white squares, none of their white That's squares from a bathroom title. <laughs> so I think it looks better if um, if you have something that where it's easily distinguishable as black and white squares from the from you know the entire temple rather than something that would blend together in a grid. Pounds to the steps. Excuse me. Pounds to the steps. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How? How much are the, the two pillars open to interpretation? Yeah, there's, and there's it says pillars are obelisks. And I've seen right. a lot of people use obelisks. And I kind of like the idea of using obelisks. The reason why I ask is because the idea has been kicked around of using two large standing living trees or plants in countercharged pots. The idea that, okay, so you've got a white pot and a large tree and a, and a, and a black pot and a large tree. The idea that this is a further a further manifestation of carrying down the fire Maybe of the Temple of Solomon. Black and then walnut and a white walnut? <laughs> <laughs> but the idea here is that they could then, carrying down the, the Judaic or ideas of the Temple of Solomon and the pillars, and the that they could also be then representative of the staff of Jesse and the staff of David, Aaron. and bringing that whole concept into play. I think as long as it's obvious to everyone present that the trees are representing the pillars, that the symbolism would be there. So. Also, what about putting the letters on? Um, it doesn't say what letters to use. Well, if they're supposed to be the pillars of the Temple of Solomon, would it be natural to, to put a B and a J? You're certainly welcome to do that. Cool. Or you could do, I mean, a lot of, I've seen uh, uh, monastic mass temples where they kind of charge them like, like uh, the Golden Dawn Temple colors with uh, Egyptian. Different hieroglyphs and diagrams. But, uh, I, I think you ought to, you know, I think you should feel free to decorate the pillars as long as you maintain the basic symbol. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, as well as even the rest of the temple. Elaborate. The, the temple should be as, you know, you should put as much energy and love into your temple as possible. Make it as beautiful as you can. Do an obelisk have a pyramidal structure on the top necessarily, or is it yeah. Yeah. just yeah. an obelisk yeah. have a pyramidal structure on the top, or uh, it's not yeah. specific. You can you, uh, you could use uh, something like this is good. Um, you can use a pyramid. You can use a pyramidal top. You can use lotus pillars. I don't think that's. I, I think you ought to, as long as it's something that looks good, it's well proportioned, and it maintains the the basic symbol. Should have some kind of cap. Should be some kind of a, a top to the pillar. <clears throat> Continuing on the, the, the symbolism of the tree of life, I have that. Oh, actually, I'd probably like to use <coughs> now. <clears throat> if you take the pillars as being located, there's a there's a idea I had that, that possibly that it was an intention that the pillars be the supports for the veil. Cool. And okay, that is, that's, I think that's one way that you can look at that. And, and your other ritual that I've seen at Crowley Road, it looks like that might be, you know, they, they always seem to be located right near where the veil is. And I think that if someone wanted to hang the veil from the pillars, that might not be a, a completely unorthodox thing to do. But um, they're, they're certainly in the vicinity of it. But um, taking the, the symbolism of the, of the tree of life again, the priestess, 
sitting right here on, on the front part of the altar. And if you take this as being collinear with the two pillars, okay, which I think is also a reasonable thing, then the line between the two pillars is the path of Dalek, at least according to traditional golden dog, okay, which is the language that Crowley was speaking. Okay, so the priestess is seated at the intersection of the two paths of Gimel, okay, the high priestess, and Dalek, the empress. The deacon is stationed at the intersection of the paths of Samak and Pei, okay, Samak leading from Yesod to Tiferet, and Pei leading from Hotmetzah, okay. And this is the position where, according to standard interpretations, the magician is standing when he is performing the lesser vanishing ritual of Pentecost. Okay. So in that sense, the deacon is established as being the one who is the magician. The one who is the coordinator, the mercurial figure, the operator of the monthly mass. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, this one, there's one more crossing of paths to where there's no separate there and the end. So, is there any good standing there? The priest at the intersection of Gimel and Pet. Okay, you want to elaborate? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Duly noted. <laughs> Okay, you're throwing ideas out. I can see yeah. more than me trying to nail them down right now. Okay. Um, if you take... Well, maybe I don't do that. I, I have in the book here, there's a discussion of, of the dimensions. You can... If you take the, your, your temple layout as being based on the Tree of Life, you know what the exact proportions are of the Tree of Life. And you can, by the dimensions of the altar, okay, you know what the dimensions of the altar are. If you take the distance from the stele to the pillars. If you fix the pillars as being at the front of the altar, or even in front of, you know, slightly forward of the altar, the distance between the stele and the two pillars will fix the exact dimensions of the temple. Okay, and if you take them as being three feet apart, where you have the pillars lined up with the front of the altar, <coughs> you have, um, The distance then from the high altar to the center of the altar of incense would be exactly nine feet. And the distance from the center of the altar of incense to the center of the font would be exactly six feet. And the distance then from the center of the font to the tomb would be another six feet precisely. Therefore, the distance from the tomb all the way to the stone of Revealing would be exactly 24 feet. So that is, you know, there's some kind of interesting symbolism there too, which is another reason why I, I think that probably that the, in addition to the idea of the priestess being located at the intersection of the paths of, 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 of Gimel and Dalek, this is another another reason why the pillars probably are at least symbolically supposed to be stationed right at the front edge of the altar. <coughs> wouldn't, uh, that, wouldn't that be 27 feet from the yeah. stele to the tomb? Yeah, I was about to say, check the geometry, because I think it'll get to 27 on time. Oh, you can work that out. 27 is another good number. Yeah. <clears throat> On the super altar. If they're going to Egyptian ones, they use cubes. <laughs> 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 I don't know, that might be an interesting study, Mark. <laughs> 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 